What's up all my investors, it is Shaddai and I'm back again with another shiny ins video breaking down the complex financial world for everyday people like me and you so we can get to this cheddar, this moolah, this bread. Today we're talking about this big old ship that's stuck in one of the most important canals in the world. Some very devastating economic news, but before we get there, gotta show my appreciation to my people that have been here since day one watching. I love you and even if you're here for the first time and, or if it's your last time, I still appreciate you as well. Just don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video and subscribe. The button's right there. Like I can't make it any more easier for you. Like the fact that you're still watching right now and you're not subscribed, shame on you. Shame on you. But if you are, you know, my heart goes out to you. You know, put an S in the comments if you are. Last but not least, if you're interested in joining, I don't know why I said last but not least. If you're interested in joining the stocks group chat, shoot me a DM above. I will get you all the details. We're in there just building generational wealth. Shout out to all my future millionaires. If you're in the in the comment section, put the F in the comment section so the people know it's real. Now let's get to business. There is a huge cargo ship stuck in the Suez, Suez, Suez Canal. I think it's in between the Red Sea, Mediterranean Sea. And um, it's, it's creating... It's creating uh, some nasty stuff that can lead to some inflation that can lead to, I mean, who knows? Who knows how long? I mean, they don't even know how long it's going to take to get this boat out. It's, it's the size of the Empire State Building. But here's where I start to get into my conspiracy bag. And tell me, if, tell me in the comments if, I'm, if you don't see this how I see it or if I'm tripping. They blamed this boat getting stuck uh, on wind. They said the wind threw a boat the size of the Empire State Building off track. Wind blew a boat the size of the... Man. Man. Man, that sounds like a tornado. I could be wrong. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's, there may be some type of possibility based off the weight of the boat. But wind? Come on. See? See, now if I was a country and I needed to negatively impact other countries, this sound this seems like a the greatest Trojan, you know, new age Trojan horse to defeat or hurt other countries. But hey, what do I know? I'm not blaming nobody, but let's just say that China owns some land surrounding the canal because they know how important it is. Um, this can lead to inflation. And I'm not blaming China, by the way. Don't 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 say I'm blaming China. I'm just saying it gets a little weird when, uh, you know, obviously there is a world battle going on. You know, it may not be talked about, but everybody wants to be number one. China wants to be number one. The U.S. wants to be number one. Russia wants to be number one. So we have to keep these things in mind when stuff like this happens. Like, how does this happen? Uh, many boats are thinking about taking the longer route, which would be, would be around Africa. But there's a lot of scary scenarios over there. Um, with the pirates, the pirate, you know, there's pirates are real, and you know, a lot of cargo ships are a little worried. They've been contacting the U.S. Navy, asking about what the risks are with the pirates and stealing cargo ships because that is very popular. Uh, many don't know, but that is very, very popular. So, um, either way, it's they're saying it's hurting about it's 9.6 billion in cargo, um, in cargo, I guess, cargo products per day like um yeah 9.6 billion in container cargo per day is being negatively affected you know as they continue to try to move this boat that's stuck in the sand in the canal everybody's helping trying to help at least the u.s has offered help to the egyptian uh, officials um they've been trying to move this thing with little boats it's it's just crazy like i don't know i'm, I'm a little skeptical but i do we have to be very paying attention to this because the longer this takes, it can negatively impact um, everybody. It can negatively impact everybody because if those boats continue to be backed up, hundreds and hundreds of miles of boats, hopefully there's no products on those boats that you know have a time limit because uh, that would mean a lot of losses for a lot of companies. And uh, yeah, this, this is just a one one of those things that you just don't want to hear. This could lead stocks down. Let, let me know what you think. Do you think this can negatively impact stocks? Uh, I just want to see where where your head is at. Um, you know, I think this is a 
This is kind of a domino effect. That's how I see it. If they don't get this situated, because U.S. wouldn't help if it wasn't a domino effect. Everybody knows it's a domino effect. It's just a matter of time before it hits your region. It negatively impacts your region. It can be inflation and prices can go up. There's tons of oil. They, there's tons of oil that moves through that canal on a day-to-day -day basis. That oil isn't moving through that canal right now. It's sitting in the middle of the water somewhere out there waiting its turn to get through. And, um, you know, who knows? This can maybe, maybe shoot oil prices up to a whole nother level. But, you know, let's, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that this gets resolved. But let me know if I'm tripping about this whole conspiracy thing. Do you think that this just accidentally happened? Or do you think that some... Some some plan was put into place to negatively impact the you know some other countries in the world. Let me know in the comments how you feel. I appreciate you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll check y'all out tomorrow.